McCormie users, my name's Beth. In this video, I'd like to show you how to set up email and text notifications, as well as delegate approval tasks using the out of office feature. The process I'll show you is specific to users within any company using our task-based security option. In McCormick Build 78 and later, users have the capability to do the following tasks. Set up email and text notifications for optimal workflow. Use the out of office feature to delegate approval or authorization tasks to other GP users. The delegate must be assigned equivalent security roles and tasks by an administrator. And confirm that the appropriate signature file has been assigned to their user profile by an administrator. If your company uses McCorma Legacy Security, which is security by user ID, checkbook ID, or standard GP security, it's also possible for users to configure text and email notifications. However, if you'd like to use the out of office feature, please contact McCorma Support to discuss best practices for switching to task-based security. All of the capabilities mentioned can be configured in one place the McCorma User Preferences window. I'm currently logged in as Ken, an approver in the company Fabricam. All McCorma approvers or authorizers can elect to receive notifications by entering a valid email address in this field. To receive text notifications, a mobile number must be entered in this format. Please check with your provider to verify the correct format for sending texts via email or computer. For example, if Ken's mobile provider is Verizon, his entry would look like this, phone number at vtext.com. By checking this box, a user will be notified that their approval or authorization has been requested. If you are a user that typically requests approvals, you can choose to be notified that other users have performed the requested approvals or authorizations by checking this box. Ken will be going on vacation next week and he needs to assign a colleague to cover his approval tasks while he's away. To do so, he'll need to check this box, then choose the desired delegate by using the lookup. All GP users will be listed, but Ken must choose someone who has been assigned equivalent or more extensive approval privileges. If the delegate does not have the appropriate permissions, she will not be able to access the approval list and will therefore be unable to approve transactions. Ken can set the date range for the delegation here. Once Ken clicks OK on the GP User Preferences window, Debbie will now be able to handle Ken's usual approval tasks during the specified time period. Please note, if Debbie wishes to be notified that her approval is needed, she must enter her email address and or phone number in her own McCormick User Preferences window so that she receives notifications while Ken is out of the office. This feature also works for McCorma authorizers as well. Any user designated as a McCorma batch authorizer can delegate another GP user to authorize, as long as that user has similar security access. If a user's signature is needed for check printing, that user can confirm that a signature file has been assigned to their user ID. Still logged in as Ken, I can see that a JPEG file is associated with my user ID here. Signature files cannot be added or removed from this window, however. That must be performed by an administrator in the Signature Assignment window. Please refer to McCormick's video page for instructions on how to add and assign signature files when using task-based security. And that's how approvers and authorizers set up their email and text notifications, as well as delegate tasks using the out-of-office feature. Please visit our videos page for additional training on McCormick products. Contact us with any questions you may have. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.